Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. This is for those wanting to see how your special person might be feeling about you, about your relationship or about your connection and it's to gauge what they might be thinking and feeling, okay? So if you enjoy this content, please feel free to leave behind a like, a share, a subscribe. That would be very much appreciated. Otherwise, this is for, the, uh, sorry, for Scorpio, <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How do they feel? Okay, the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, this is a card of reconciliation. This is a card of togetherness. It's a card of family. <clears throat> it's also a card of creating legacies. There's someone here that wants to create or build something with you, Scorpio. <clears throat> Possibly a family, possibly remarriage, possibly have you become involved with their friends or family or meet their friends and family. They're wanting to bring you closer into their world. Um, and I think it's a very mature approach and it shows that this person is thinking about the long-term vision. Um, I, I sense that this person is very intuitive with you. Now doesn't matter what sign they are they ha there's earth energy that has come up here which is taurus capricorn virgo but there's someone that feels like you are made for them you are made for each other because the high priestess is very intuitive and she represents a prophecy so i feel like there's someone here that feels you are meant to be in their path or you are meant to be on the path that you are on currently with this person whether you're not talking right now whether you are whether you're um, approaching major milestones in love Whatever it is that's happening around you, this person believes that this is supposed to happen the way it is. Um, it is about building a future. And I feel like this person has been telling their friends and family about you and your connection or your problems or things that have been going on around you. There's someone that has been consulting because the high priestess is consulted. She's the oracle. She's the, she's the seer. She's the prophetess. She's the sorceress. So it might be someone that they're consulting with to help them bring you closer to them. So it's almost like they've been resorting to the help or the advice or the sol or finding solace with a person who's giving them advice about how to create that legacy with you. So especially if this person is at a stage in their life where they're wanting children or engagements or marriage or maybe they want to introduce you to their children or they want to merge families. They want to get you more involved around the people and the places that matter most to them, which means that they're inviting you into their world or they want to bring you closer into their world, Scorpio. So this shows that they're placing importance on you. There could also be someone who wants to work on the or improve on your home and family life. If you have been connected to this person, if you've been living together, if you have a family, if you have children, they want things in this area to improve because this is going to be very important. This is going to be dominating their thoughts. Uh, there's the focus, there's the drive, and there's the dedication here. It's almost like someone is looking about how far you've come together. They're assessing things. Uh, it could be memories. It could be resources. It could be things that milestones that you've approached in your life together. But it's a very serious card. It's a very contemplative card, the Seven of Pentacles. So I do feel like this person is contemplating on how to improve a situation here with you or how to add to or even enhance or build on your connection. So this shows that this person is putting a lot of thought and emphasis into your connection. They want to do things to impress you. They want to do things to build that legacy and I do sense they want to build a legacy with you, Scorpio. And whatever that means for this person, moving in together, um, having a child together, um, introducing you to their family, traveling, um, becoming more intuitively or emotionally uh, connected to you. Whatever that means for this person, obviously every person is different. Uh, this is what they're thinking and feeling. There's a lot of, uh, they're being very practical about a situation here. But they're, if you find them pulling away or deep in thought, um, and, and, and you t you, you, you're very intuitive, Scorpio, so I think you'll know if this person has pulled away or they're reflecting or thinking about a lot. The reason they're doing this is because they want to, they want to see 
it's either they want to build a legacy with you or they're thinking about if you would be the right person to build that legacy with. A part of them feels very, very connected to you, especially on, a, on an intuitive emotional or supernatural level so this is why the reason they're giving this a lot of thought or they're taking their time they might not be one to rush into things earth energy is very very grounded it's all about patience and practicality so essentially this person is thinking <clears throat> they're they're considering you someone that they could build a legacy with or they're thinking about if you would be a candidate for that for them so a lot of um you know, and, and the Seven of Pentacles is everything that's very important in our lives. We don't add to this, this the tree of life, the bush of life here. We don't add to this unless we deem it important. So there possibly is someone here that has these feelings towards you and wants to include you in their life, in life experience and in their memory. And here comes the High Priestess. See, now, she could represent a couple of things. It could be that a very strong intuitive connection that this person feels for you. They might be feeling like they fi they're finding their spirituality or they're finding their inner self. They're finding their life mission or they're finding their life purpose through you because the High Priestess represents a prophecy, okay? Um, a prophecy given from the divine, from the fates, from the gods, from the angels, spirit guides. Somehow this person feels very, um, that side of them feels very awoken when they're with you. So, and this is not something they can possibly put into words. The high priestess is all about feeling things. So, but, but look, because she holds an important document, she holds the Torah in her hands. It's almost like she's delivering the news or she's reading something here. So, there is something important that they might need to express or they might need to tell you or they might need to reveal. They might have big news for you, Scorpio. They might have big news. They might have something to tell you that could change everything. I think it's about your relationship. I definitely feel like it would impact your relationship. The reason I say that is because the black and the white pillars are here, which can indicate divine masculine and divine feminine. So... <clears throat> What I think this um what I think this translates into Scorpio is that this person is wanting to reveal something about your relationship, about how they feel about your relationship or where they see it going. The prophecy prophecies and glimpses and premonitions can be about the past, they can be about the present, they can be about the future. But this, it's something that this person wants to reveal about one of these things to you. And they're going to communicate it either face-to-face, -face, either through a message, through an email, um, through a text. It's, it's like they're going to reveal something here that they've been thinking or feeling about your past, about your present connection, or about what they see for you in the future. If, in fact, they see themselves with you building that legacy. It's she she often heralds something very important. She can it can be announcements and it can be things like this. Let's also mention here that the children are present in this card and the pomegranate fruit, which is a fruit of fertility, is present with the high priestess here. So there possibly is someone who's thinking about having children with you, or if you're going to fall pregnant, this is going to um have this person in a whirlwind of thoughts. Um, because if you if this is uh, not a planned pregnancy or even if it is a planned pregnancy, it's it's going to change this person, whether they're going to become a mother, whether they're going to become a father. It's going to change them on a very, very significant level. And you will see that I will leave it at that, though, Scorpio. I hope this reading has been helpful.